will we talk about in this video? Since we will install and use the delicious add-on, we first explain what an add-on is. We will then install the delicious add-on to our Internet Explorer, explain the delicious sidebar and its use, and will then show how this sidebar can help you prepare links for your classes. In my browser I have installed several add-ons. The Yahoo toolbar giving me direct access to several services, an add-on for making screenshots and an add-on showing me the current weather in Vienna. Add-ons are small programs that add extra functionality to your browser. Once installed and enabled, they load whenever you start your browser. You use them by clicking on buttons embedded in your browser interface. Installing an add-on is a matter of a couple of clicks and usually is done in less than a minute. So let's install the delicious add-on to our Internet Explorer. We go to delicious.com, click on help and open the quick tour for Internet Explorer add-on. As you see, the add-on is also available for Firefox in an even better version, by the way. We click on Install, Add Buttons and Run. There is a security alert. Since we trust Delicious, we click on Run again. The next window is to determine the destination folder of the add-on. In this installation it hid behind the browser window, which might as well happen to you, so move this window to the front of your screen. I'm happy with the suggested location and press the button Install. The browser has to be closed now, which gives me the opportunity to send you greetings from our Austrian mountains. Internet Explorer opens again and we see the sidebar and in the right upper corner the three delicious browser buttons to open and close the sidebar, to move to our bookmarks page on delicious and to tag a page. To open the sidebar, click on the sidebar button embedded in the command bar of your browser. The sidebar is divided into three sections, the search field, the tag window and the bookmarks window. You can pull the border up and down to adjust it to your needs. The newly installed add-on has downloaded my bookmarks to my browser. I have already typed a tag into the search field and add another one. Both tags are shown in the tag window. Clicking on one of them pulls all the bookmarks that contain this tag into the bookmarks window. To search your tags you don't have to know the exact term. Just type and all tags containing your string of characters show up in the tag window. The search field searches all information stored with your bookmarks, so if the searched terms are only found in the title or the notes of a bookmark, the tag window remains empty and only the bookmark shows up. Let's check where our search term was found. It's part of the notes of this bookmark. The feature I like the most is the possibility to expand the tags in the tag window to show all other tags that were stored along with it. It really gives you a quick access to your bookmarks. Let's have a look how this add-on can help you prepare a class. We will perform three tasks together. First, collect links from a web search. Second, add some text to describe those links. And third, Provide those links and descriptions for assigning tasks to our students. Our topic in this example is Community of Practice, a conception well suited for Education 2.0. Of course, you could follow this procedure for any other topic you may teach. 
First, we do a search and receive this list of results. Judging by the descriptive texts of the results list, we decide which pages we want to include in the link set for our students. We open each one of them in a new tab, which is done very quickly. Now we visit each tab to bookmark it. We look for some text on each page that can serve as its description. Select it and press the tag button of our delicious add-on. The description is automatically inserted into the notes field of our bookmark, so we just have to enter the tag we use for this link set. The automatic insertion of selected text does not work for frame sets, so in the next case we manually copy-paste the descriptive text into the notes field. We do so with all the pages we want to provide for our students. Move to the tab, select descriptive text, press the tag button and enter our tag which shows up in the list of suggested terms as we type into the tag field. This, too, does not take much time and so we can now take a closer look at our set of links. We open the sidebar, enter our tag Community of Practice and click it to restrict the bookmarks to those we need. I want to adjust the titles so they show right at the beginning where the link comes from, like this. How can you do that? You can edit a bookmark from the sidebar. Click on it with the right mouse button. In this case, we set the word Wikipedia at the beginning of the title and delete it from the end. You can change any information of your bookmark in the same manner. Let's move to delicious.com and take a look at our link set. We click our tag to restrict the display of this page to bookmarks tagged with Community of Practice. And we copy the URL of this page. Now we can post the task assignment to the blog of our class. We paste the URL of our bookmark page into the blog post. Each student is asked to read through at least two of the web pages we link to and post a summary to our class blog.